I'm out in the woods doing a little bushcraft with my son. So why don't you guys come along with me and uh, back to camp and I'll show you what I'm talking about. As we're back here at the camp here, I was off looking for supplies. There's my son Tegan. Say hi, buddy. Hi. All right, now what I've used for a lean tune tarp, instead of buying an expensive ultra light tarp, I used the top of a tent. That's right, I said the top of a tent. The, the rainproof guard of a three-man tent makes a perfect lean-to shelter. It's got the grommets everywhere where you need them. It's even got a thing in the middle that I can tie a stick, rope, whatever to, to lift the middle like I've done here. I could have done a better job, but we did this on the fly. We're burning our fire down, uh, and then we're either going to, we went ahead and found some Y sticks here, and we're making a rotisserie uh, for the steak, right buddy? Yeah, and we're going to spin that so the steak can get all good and nice and warm and then it'll, then it'll make my mouth warm and comfy. <laughs> That's right. So basically the idea behind this is a rotisserie. We're going to rotisserie it and uh, this is just a piece of green ash. Uh, and this is all ash. I actually came into the woods about I don't know, two weeks ago, and, I'm, and I did this with my whole family, my girlfriend and three kids, and uh, we cut down a few small ash saplings in a forest of ash where they were actually needed to be thinned out a little bit. And uh, I didn't want to cut down any more, uh, so what I did is I went over there and I dismantled our little teepee that I made. Here's some of the ash sticks here that are left. Some of them had a Y on the top uh, to hold the teepee together without any cordage. The little bit of cordage that we did use, we used pine root or pine root which is actually what I used on the back side of this I dug it up from this tree here uh, it's a nice day it's about 70 degrees we're gonna get some thunderstorms later though so uh, we're not gonna stay back here all day but uh, we got our bows our arrows uh, I've done most of the stuff with uh, this flint knife here I also brought some flint napping gear so we could sit around and dink around our fire it's actually a pretty deep pit and what I was teaching my son about this fire is if you guys will notice this mud wall in the back here that I made uh, and I did that on purpose uh, because I want to show him how to direct heat back into a lean-to so he understands what the whole purpose of a lean-to is. I do. And he does. He's getting it figured out. We've done a, a, an hourly tick check and so far we're pretty clean. No ticks. We've seen two ticks. Well well, there's, there's one right here climbing on me. No, it was on the it was on the rug. This is what we're gonna cook. I, I got it like that. <laughs> it was crying. Play no games out here, huh? Yep, play no Top games. Top sirloin steak, huh, buddy? Yep. Now the fire probably isn't hot enough all the way up here, but uh, that's because this is the first fire we've ever had in this hole. Obviously, it'll fill in with ash eventually, and we'll end up using the rotisserie. But for today, I'm probably going to break this guy out right here and yes you can use it with sterno heat but uh, and it creates this little box but what you can also do with this is just kind of like lay it over the fire like this hopefully and just cook on it but we'll see how that works out but anyways uh, I'm Jesse Rush with uh, Flinga Bows and, and this is Tegan Rush my son with Flinga bows, he's actually the one that named it when he was younger. He didn't know how to say bow and arrow, and when he saw me working on a bow or making a bow like this one, he would just say, Dawi a Flinga. And what that meant in his mind was bow. And then when it came time to kind of come up with a name for my little company here, I decided to call it Flinga Bows. Now I am not a bow making company as you would think. I have a few bows that I sell, and if you ask me for one, I'll make you one, and I will uh, definitely, you know, make you one and sell it to you, but there are a lot of people out there that do this as a full-time job. I'm not one of them, and if I were to advise you to go somewhere, I would have to say go check out Gill's Primitive Archery, I think it is. Gill's Primitive Archery. Uh, it's a guy named Ryan Gill. And uh, he makes bows and arrows, and he makes razor sharp arrowheads, probably the sharpest arrowheads out there. Um, another guy you might want to check out is Billy Berger. Uh, he's kind of somewhat famous. <laughs> good buddy of mine, though. I bought all his DVDs. He's a real good guy. Another guy 
is Thad Beckham. He's from BeckhamOutdoors.com. You can also find him on YouTube as Beckham Outdoors. This guy is great. Uh, he does a lot of the, I mean, he, he wears brain tan clothing and moccasins and I mean, he does it for real. This guy right here, I mean, could be out in the woods and survive for real. <laughs> Not survive, thrive. Uh, but as far as buying a bow, none of them guys really sell bows except for Ryan Gill from Gill's Primitive Archery. I think it's Primitive Archery, I could be wrong. Um, but it's Gill's Primitive something. And if you Google him, you'll find him. He's on Facebook, he's got a real website. He's all over YouTube. Uh, he's, he makes some good, good, good bows. So if you're not to the point where you're making good bows and arrows, hit him up. Um, he also has really affordable stuff. Uh, you know, I'm not going to lie. I can't really sell my stuff as cheap as him. Um, you know, if it takes me 50 hours to make a bow, I got to get four or $500 for it. Um, and that, you know, you're not even including the buying the stave. Uh, you know, uh, but I, but if you want a bow, I can sell you one. I do make ash bows for somewhat cheaper. I can I can make an ash D bow style bow for about 300 bucks, give or take, and then you got to pay shipping. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah. So um, yeah, we're just out here dinking around. We got some primitive arrows, and we're gonna have some fun. But right now, it's time to cook a steak. So I uh, hope you guys like our little primitive camp here, and. Uh, if you like this video and other videos like this, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Say bye, Tegan.